In one of the first political forums of this election season, six candidates for county executives spent a morning with the Montgomery County Black Business Council and their audience discussing issues. Due to current legal and entitlement expenditures, many questions focus on issues that affect African American owned businesses. Candidates were particularly asked about the amount of county capital available for minorities. I think it's so important that people actually get an opportunity to really hear from the candidates. You know, you see a lot of information in the news and the media, uh, but it's really nice to be able to ask a question or to actually hear what they have to say. Some of the candidates who Thank are you. currently serving in an elected position say they would expand on existing policies. But let me share with you one of the initiatives that I sponsored that our council passed that I am very excited about and I think will make a difference for black businesses and minority businesses throughout our county. That was called a microloan program. I included language in the law creating the Montgomery County Economic Development Corporation that ensured that a substantial focus of that economic development entity would be small and minority businesses. While other candidates said the county can do more. I think Montgomery County has a reputation for giving our loans on the high end of the economic sphere. We know how much Marriott got. We, know how we, have, a, we have a vague idea of what Amazon would get. Uh, we don't do as much on the small business end, and I think we need to do more, more on the small business end. You know, small business is really the backbone of our county, and what I think we sometimes forget is even some of our biggest companies like Marriott started in this county as a small business. And we know that certain groups, uh, particularly minority populations and immigrant populations, may not have all the know-how uh, that others or access to capital. And so I think it's very important that the county step up its efforts. David Blair, a businessman from Potomac, says increasing opportunity involves creating partnerships. One county government can do a better job working with the local banks to connect them with the small businesses and providing incentives to lend locally. Robin Ficker mentions increasing property taxes. In 2008, I put a question on the ballot, which all the elected officials opposed, to require a unanimous vote of the county council for the council to increase your property taxes more than the rate of inflation. Organizers emphasize that it's not a debate, but a way for entrepreneurs to connect with the candidates. I thought it was kind of cool to see them on the stage, both in terms of hearing their platform, but also seeing them on the hot seat to answer some very pointed questions. Delegate Bill Frick is also running for Montgomery County Executive, but did not attend the forum because the Maryland General Assembly Assembly is currently in session. In Silver Spring, I'm Mitty Hicks for my MC Media.